Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to disable the debug mode in PrestaShop in 2024. Of course, uh, debug mode, of course, is a useful for a tool for troubleshooting issues, but it can expose some sensitive informations on your website or store. So disabling it is very good once you finish your testing. So let's dive into the steps of safely disabling the debug mode on Presta Shop in 2024. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and access the back office. To do so, go and open a browser. Of course, make sure to go to prestashop.com. Of course, uh, to have PrestaShop if you don't have it yet. There's a lot of videos that I made how to install it on a local PC and etc. If you don't want to like choose hosting provider if you want to have it totally free, you can simply just go here, open new tab, just type install like Presta. So sorry, PrestaShop on local host, which means on your computer. And hit the enter button, go to the first link and follow the steps right here. As you can see, steps highlighted here and the details, you'll find it on this article. Once you finish, you'll have access, of course, to your store with the front office and back office. So make sure to have access to your uh, to this manage your store, which is the back office. Once you access your back office, of course, you will have to navigate into advanced parameters. You will find this on the left hand menu. Under advanced parameters, click on performance and this is where you will manage various performance settings on your store. In this performance settings, uh, you'll scroll down uh, to the debug mode section, and here you'll find checkbox disabled, non like Presta uh, shop models, and disable or overwrites. This option can help with debugging, but to fully disable the debug mode, you'll need to modify the configuration file. To complete the disable like debug mode, you'll need to access your server files and you can, of course, this can be uh, done both via the FTP on your hosting provider file manager. If you're not hosting it locally on your computer, you can simply connect to the server, navigate to the raw directory of your PrestaShop installation and look for config folder and open it. And of course, inside that config folder, locate the find anc.php file which will contain debug mode settings, open the, uh, the divine or define ANC PHP and file text editor. Look for that line that says define PS mode uh, dev true. To disable debug mode, change the true into false. So it's read uh, PS mode dev false and save the changes. And then after editing the configuration file, it's important to clear the store cache to ensure the changes take effect. Then go back to the PrestaShop back office and navigate to advanced parameters performance. Scroll down to clear cache button, click it, and this will clear your store cache and apply the changes. Then finally, visit the front end here, of course, on discover your store. And once you do so, uh, make sure to verify that debug mode is disabled, browse through a few pages and check for any debug information that might have been disabled previously. If you don't see any debug messages, you've successfully disabled the debug mode and it should be it. If you need more details, you can look for an article as an example. So as an example, like how to disable or disable uh, the debug like mode and press stop shop. And you can look for articles, for example. So what's about this one? So you can see an article, as we said, just go to advanced uh, advanced settings, go to performance. As we said, the same steps. So here they're just explaining it. So performance, debug mode. Yes, uh, make sure to have it on off and click on save. And as you can see, to deactivate the debug mode, click on this uh, insect icon at the top of the page, set the button to no and click on save. So as we said, via the FTP, so make sure if you have this true, make it into false and clear the cache and you should be good to go without any problems and you'll disable the debug mode without any problems. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.